was oh and I was back <laughs> oh goodness no fail hashtag fail in the comment section guys now I gotta go get the rotator What's up guys, you boys, finally 2K7 and we are back for a brand new Grand Auto 5 real life mod video and it has been forever since I said that, I apologize, I know you guys have been wanting me to do a towing video in forever and we definitely will be doing a whole bunch very soon so make sure you guys are locked in, subscribe, notifications on so you will not miss any of those videos but anyway, first thing I want to ask guys, should we roll with the Kenworth semi truck behind us or the Peterbilt semi truck behind us, which one? When should we take out today um, uh, let me know down below in the comment section in the meantime I'm gonna kind of tell you guys what's going on so we're currently here at ace towing right now uh, as you guys see we got the Kenworth heavy wrecker out um, I'm gonna take one of these semi trucks out and I gotta go pick up a brand new truck guys so we have to go get there's a couple errors around the map too guys so don't don't worry about that I'll get that fixed in the next video but anyway we have to go pick up a brand new truck today guys that we're buying for our company so we're gonna go purchase a loan or international loan start it's gonna be the first loan start in San Andreas they just got them at the dealership so we're gonna go pick them up or we're gonna go pick one up now I don't have any trailers here right now um, all of the other trucks and trailers are out on runs right Right now and I don't want to I mean we could use the heavy record to pick it up but I'm gonna bring a trailer and we're gonna bring the uh, Kenworth so we're gonna go with the Kenworth so everybody that dropped Kenworth W900 or just Kenworth in the comment section congratulations we're using your truck for everybody that voted Peterbilt don't worry I got you we will use the Peterbilt tomorrow so we're gonna head out and uh, stop by the dealership and go pick up this brand new Lone Star truck and I'm very excited to show it off to you guys. It has a lot of cool features and I think it's going to be very useful for our company. Now, uh, speaking of company, you guys know we're running the construction company. We're running our tow truck company and we're going to be starting up our um, trucking company again. I know we had Ace Trucking before and it kind of went away, but you know what? things happen you know sometimes you you try something and it doesn't work out and you gotta like you know step back reanalyze refocus and you know come up with a better game plan so what I mean is ace trucking is about to come back better than ever guys it's about to be amazing we're gonna have a fleet of like every semi truck that you could think of which is kind of crazy because normally when you have a like a fleet of trucks it's best to like run the same trucks for the whole fleet you know that way if you gotta order parts or if you gotta like have mechanics working on them it's kind of better to have just like one type of trucks but anyway we're gonna go in with our trucking company guys we're gonna have Peterbilt's we're gonna have Kenworth's we're gonna have internationals we're gonna have max we're gonna have Volvo's whatever you want guys we are gonna have it. it's gonna be crazy so make sure you guys look forward to uh, or look out for ace truck and it's gonna be crazy guys so anyway we're here at this construction site here at the uh, quarry. We're going to be picking up one of our trailers and we're going to use this low boy trailer to pick up our new international truck. So let's back up and hook up to this. There we go. All right, let's get out and do our quick safety inspection. Make sure this thing is all uh connected make sure everything is safe and ready to go and uh looks fantastic we're gonna get going <laughs> oh man shout out to raya stream on facebook he, he's a um american truck simulator streamer and his streams are hilarious on facebook you should go check them out if you guys are into american truck simulator <laughs> I, I just stole that from him it is so funny the way he does it all right, let's get going though. So now we're gonna head towards the dealership. If we could get out of here, I'm gonna just delete this guy because he don't know how to get out of here. I think the gate doesn't work when you come out though. It always works when you come in, but it never works when you want to leave. So it's okay. We'll just knock it down. We tried. All right, so now we're gonna go to the truck dealership. Now some of you guys may remember this dealership. We haven't really been there in a little while, but they have upgraded. Um, 
they upgraded their showroom, I guess, or their inventory. So now they carry um, more trucks. Before they only had Kenworths and Peterbilts, but now they have Kenworths, they have Peterbilts, they have Mac Anthem. What an idiot. They have Mac Anthems, they have Volvos, they have everything, guys. So we're going to head over to the dealership. We're going to also customize our Lone Star tool, and then we're going to take it to back to our shop. Damn, I need somewhere to park this truck up. I should have probably backed in here, actually, because there's, like, not much space over here. Eh. Let's see. I'll, uh, I'll just park up right here, and then when we're ready, we can, like, back up right there. Okay, that's going to be what we're going to do. So let's hop out, and we're actually already at the dealership, in case you guys have not noticed. All right, so let's go take a look at our new trucks. Oh, I can see them already, guys. Can y'all see the Lone Star International? I don't know why I keep saying it backwards. The International Lone Star. There it is, guys. Showroom is looking nice. Yo, they got everything in stock right now. So we're going to do another video right now. We're just picking up the Lone Star, but we're going to do another video, and we're going to come back and actually... Um, purchase a couple of different trucks because like I said we're bringing back ace trucking and we're bringing it back better than ever so we're gonna try to buy like pretty much all the main trucks so we're gonna get the the Lone Star we're gonna get the Peterbilt um, do they have any Kenworths in here let's see I see another Peterbilt right there more internationals Okay, here we go. We got the Kenworths over here. So, yeah, we're going to buy everything, guys. Let me know in the comment section which brand is your favorite truck, but I'm going to try to buy them all. We even got the Mac Anthem in here. Okay, okay, okay. And then we have the Volvo as well. Yo, they got everything in the dealership. All right, so we're going to focus on the internationals today, guys. So, let's come over here. And take a look at all of the internationals they have in stock. Now, this international, you can find it on uh, Bag Customs Patreon page. So, I will link it down below. You guys can check it out and get early access to it, of course. And this thing looks awesome. It is. It does have liveries, and it comes with multiple liveries, actually. So, we have this one with, like, an American flag. Kind of have, like, some uh, Captain America vibes as well with the star there. Uh, then we also have this one right here. This is kind of just like, you know, a stocked out version. Doesn't really have it, really any of the uh, add-ons or optional add-ons. And let's see what they have over here. I think they have one that's fully loaded. Whoops. Which one is fully? Oh, you know what? It didn't load properly. I, I think if I hop in, it will load. Hold up. I think this was the one that's supposed to be fully loaded. Yeah. Here we go. So, yeah, here's the fully loaded one, as you guys can see. Comes with a head rack. Comes with lights. You got the chains, the tie-down chains and everything. That's actually really cool. Uh, what else does this one have that the other ones don't? It has the visor up top. So, yeah, see that the one on the left doesn't have the visor. So, this one comes with the visor. And the fourth extra, which is actually the first one, you can also put the license plate like right there in the corner. So it's very, very cool. Let me know what you guys think about this truck down below in the comment section. Also, let me know if you guys think it's a good idea. Is this a good truck for us to add to the fleet? I hope it is, man. I hope it is. But yeah, here's another pretty much another stock one here. So let's get the one that we're going to get. So Ace, Ace truck and our trucks are going to be like a navy blue color. So we're not going to get this one since this one has flames on it and everything. It does look nice, but we're not going to use this truck. So the one that we're going to be picking up is this blue one right here. So let's hop in. All right, so let's see. Let's see what options. Let's take it into the... Um, I don't even know if I could technically fit, but we're going to try. I'm probably going to hit this. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold up, hold up. Alright, so let's take this into the uh, service area so we could put everything that we need onto it. 
check out the interior too while we're in here. Oh, beautiful interior. Look at the GPS. Hey, shout out to Texas. I-30, 44 Texas, right? Nice. The dash is nice. We got it. Wait, wait, wait. I thought this was a brand new truck. This thing got 123,000 miles on it already. What? Hold up. What are they? What are they selling me? They told me this was new. Hold up. They trying to pull a fast one on me, guys. I'm gonna need a discount if this thing got 100,000 miles on it. But this looks beautiful, though. I like this. All right. Looks like they have a uh, Kenworth day cab up. Oh, the guy fell through the uh, the thing. I'll fix him later. He's supposed to be uh, welding, <laughs> but I forgot to freeze him, so he like fell through the floor. Got another Kenworth. Got a Peterbilt over here getting worked on. All right, cool, cool, cool. So let's see, what should we add on to our truck, guys? I think I'm going to make it fully loaded. So the first thing we're going to do is put our license plate on. So we're going to get it registered, and we now have our license plate. Uh, next, we are going to do, I think I had to fix it so you guys can see it. All right, three is going to be the visor, so we're definitely going to go with the visor. It looks good, and it adds some extra lights, too, so we're going to go with the visor. And the fourth option, we're going to turn that on as well, and once we fix everything, we should see everything, so boom, okay. So we now have the lights. We have everything i believe all the extras is on let me just make sure by using menu actually oh, okay yeah everything's on all right so our truck is ready to go guys let's take it out let's take it for a quick spin I'm loving the lights on this thing. This thing looks really good. Again, shout out to Bad Customs for another amazing mod. Make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel too. Check out his GTA 5 mods page, his Discord, and his Patreon for all the latest mods. And again, you can find a link to everything down below in the video description. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Turn on the lights. Okay, okay. Alright, we're gonna spin around. Oh, I didn't see that car coming, but that's okay. Oh, rolling some coal there. <laughs> Look at the mud flaps. That was perfect right there. Back off. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this loaded onto the trailer. I'm actually pull up right here. You guys will see why here in a moment. So let's leave that right there. Let's hop into the Kenworth, get the trailer disconnected. I think I actually have to disconnect it first. So we'll do that. I mean, technically, we could technically put the Kenworth. Should we haul? Huh, what should we do? Should we haul the Kenworth back to the shop or should we haul the... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know what I want to do yet. I'm going to put... I think I'm going to put the... I was planning to put the Lone Star on. But I don't know. Oh, I don't have my script folder in. I got to add my script folder in so this would work. Yeah, I forget. I'm using a different copy of Grand Photo 5 that I don't normally use for the real life mod. So in this folder, I don't have my scripts folder in here. All right, uh, which truck should I put on? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the Lone Star on. We're gonna strap up the Lone Star. I 
I love this back rack though, that is very nice. That's gonna come in handy when we're doing some of the more dangerous uh, loads. Oh, <laughs> I didn't wanna do that. We just attached to it even though it's invisible. Okay, there we go, that's what we're trying to do. Straighten it out a bit. like we have just enough room to fit is actually kind of tight but that's okay so we'll get out get this thing chained down we can actually use the new uh, chains that come with the uh, truck and we'll tie this thing down and we'll take it to the shop hey right, guys so I got everything locked down this thing just fits perfect all right so let's hop back into the Kenworth and let's go drop it off So we're going to have to spin this thing around. Uh, I don't want to take it into the jail, so I'm going to just try to just back it up right here. Oh, I'm hitting that bush. Day cab action. I love the day cabs when you, when you can see behind you like this, when it has it opened up. Kind of see what's going on. Oh, I missed the road, but that's okay. All right, let's go drop this off at the shop. Now, honestly, our shop is like, really? Bro, our shop is like right down the block, technically. So it's like, I didn't need to do all of this, but it's more fun, you know? It's more fun when we do stuff like this, actually. Hold up. That's gonna be a hard right turn to make. Ah, I should have went out that way, guys. I wasn't paying attention. All right, hold up. We're about to do some interesting trucking right now. All right, we're gonna back this thing up. Alright, so what we're going to do is go this way, and this is still a sharp turn, but it has a little bit more space for us to cut it. I think that was easier than if we tried to make that turn over there. Alright, so let's go drop this off at the shop. Hey, you know what, maybe we'll do like a little test drive with it too. We'll hook it up to the trailer and see how it pulls. I gotta put the uh, ace towing signs back up too. Like I was saying, so I'm in like a different version of Grand Theft Auto 5 from what I normally use. So like a lot of the stuff that I normally have in is not in at the moment. So we'll disconnect that and we'll park this up right over here. I'm just going to tap the Peterbilt so that it'll come up. Oh! I said nothing. I said nothing. 
Oh my god, that was oh and I was back. <laughs> oh goodness no fail hashtag fail in the comment section guys. Now I gotta go get the rotator. Oh my god, how the heck did this even happen? Oh we need the rotator now guys. Somebody go pull up with the rotator. This is crazy. I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> Oh man, what is this truck named again? Isn't it BC Hauler? Oh, I did not see it right there. I'm like, why don't I see it? Alright, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of rotating action here, guys. So, whoops. What? What? <laughs> why am I on 100? Oh man, we are failing with everything. Hold up. Do a little bit of rotating action here. A little bit of rolling. Oh, I did not mean to do that. There we go. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And I'm just going to pick it up and set it down. Okay. Nobody saw that, right? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I was just trying to make it not be under the map because I don't know if you guys noticed. It kind of fell through the map a little bit because we left the area and it wasn't frozen. Oh, that is so funny. Oh my god, we're gonna have to take this into the shop and get all of this fixed. Oh, that is so, so funny. Alright, let's get this uh, Lone Star down now. Alright, so I got everything detached. Let's hop in. I love this light bar in this thing. This is so nice. So yeah, I think this truck is going to go into Ace Towing, guys. We got to take that Christmas tree down, too. But I think this is going to go into Ace Towing. I don't know. Should we also put one in Ace Construction? Wait, no. It's going to go to Ace Trucking. I think I said Towing. It's going to go to Ace Trucking. But do you guys think we should put one in Ace Towing and Ace Construction? I don't know. I feel like this would be a good construction truck, too, because it has, like, the light bar and everything. I don't know. So let's take it for a quick drive around Sandy Shirts. Right, we'll see how this thing drives. Oh, look at the mirrors on the nose. You can actually see out of them. That's pretty cool. Let me turn off that marker. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Let's go for a little bit of a drive. Hope you guys are all having a good day in real life as well. Let me know how your day is going. It's almost the weekend, so I'm excited about that. Oh, also, did any of you guys see the movie Bad Boys? I'm about to actually go see it right now. So I'm kind of excited about it. Everybody's been talking about it and saying it was a really good movie. So I'm excited to see it. I did enjoy the first two, so I'm sure I'm going to like this one. Alright, let's just hop on. Yeah, everybody's just going at the last second, and you see a semi chug, you gotta give us space. Yeah, this is really nice. Oh, this truck is automatic, I see, too. Nice. I'm a cop! Yo, was he there the whole time? Hold up. I did not see that car there. Am I? Damn, I was so busy looking at the dash. I did not see that car at all. Was he there the whole time? Am I bugging out? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. But yeah, this truck is good, though. I think it's going to be a good addition to our fleet. I'm liking this. I'm liking the GPS as well. Gets up to speed nicely. Oh, I meant to I meant to pull a trailer. I forgot. Alright, well maybe we'll we'll take a trailer out tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll do our first load or something like that. I think I'm gonna do a tow truck video tomorrow though, because I know you guys have been wanting to see one for a while now. Truck is hauling. 
I'll have to show you guys the other liveries that comes with two by default. So I, I can show you guys real quick. Yeah, I'll pull over right here real quick. So this comes with about, I think, six different textures on it. Let's see. So you guys already seen the flames. You also have this. This one is really cool. The firefighter one. Very nice. Firefighter tribute. You have this one, which is like a city skyline. I'm not sure what city that is. You have this here. A futuristic kind of thing. You have the American flag. I honestly don't know what this one is. Like, yeah, I really don't even know what that is. <laughs> and then you have uh, this, which is just no texture, which makes you or allows you to make the truck any color. But yeah, I like it. Very nice model. We are pushing this thing right now. Surprised the train didn't spawn. Alright, so we are back at the shop. We are going to call it a day again. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Leave some comments down below and subscribe if you're new. And even if you're new or if you're not new, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video or do a live stream. I'm actually going to be um, out of town next week too, but I have a bunch of cool videos that I've been recording and editing for you guys. So there's going to be about two videos a day next week, which is going to be amazing. We're going to have a lot of GTA roleplay videos. We're going to have some LSPDFR videos. We're going to have some firefighter mod videos. We're going to have some paramedic mod videos. And I'm going to try to see if I can record some more real life videos. I didn't do any yet, but I'm going to try to see if I could throw them in those, throw them in there for you guys too. So next week is going to be a fun week. Make sure you guys look out for all the videos. But as always, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.